everybody hope you're doing great this is christine on immaculate show we really welcome you once again to our show we say thank you thank you very much for the great support you have shown us christine and immaculate show team really are saying thank you bravo bravo thank you thank you thank you very much what you've done is wonderful if you know you're new on this channel kindly go down and subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell this month of September, we have an interesting topic. This interesting topic lies in the line with our objectives of the, this channel. One of our objectives is entrepreneurship. And you cannot speak about entrepreneurship without speaking about business. So here we bring you this month of September, business in UAE. As you saw our advert previously, we are going to learn more and more of it. But now, the first things first. Before you start business in UAE, and in particular Dubai or Ajman or Sharjah, there is this great question that we have been having, including me, before I started, when I came in, I would see it as a dream for any of us or for an African or for an expatriate to have a business in UAE. But here we come with good news that you can do business in UAE. Why are we saying you can do business in UAE? Let me first take you a little bit on the opportunities or advantages of doing business in UAE. I'll give you very few, like two or three, which are very, very simple. UAE, it is a country that with very, very many people around and from different, different countries and from different nationalities. This is a business area. It's a young country growing with a lot of potentials. So the people themselves that are there make it more advantageous for you to have a business within UAE. The second one is technology. The technology in UAE is superb. Everything is in order. The technology from the beginning up to the end, it is straightforward. Then the third and last, it is Taxation. When you come to UAE or when you start a business, the taxes are not that very heavy as far as people might think or as far as how other countries might be. So that makes it very advantageous and it makes us feel like let's do business in UAE. Now the question comes, are people really doing business in UAE? Expatriates? Africans? Europeans? Yes. Indians? Yes. They are doing business in UAE. But now you might be there. You want to do business officially in UAE in one way or the other. We are not going to start from up. No, we are going to start from down. If you're thinking about coming to UAE and do business or wherever you are and you do business from UAE, there are few things you need to consider. And what are these few things you need to consider? I came up with some factors. This matrix says you have to, base on them, for you to really say, I'm going to do business in UAE. Let me take you behind. You know, UAE is composed of seven Emirates. And these seven Emirates all have different powers of business as licensing is concerned. And out of the seven Emirates, we also have very many free zone areas. In our next video, you'll know about free zone areas. Now, in these seven Emirates, we have different free zone areas. And different free zone areas around 45 and above, okay, roughly estimates. Remember, this information is based on our experience as Immaculate's short team and is also based on our survey. Disclaimer, if you want to start a business in UAE, we can direct you to the legal authorities or to the experts and they help you do this. Get to know that. Now, having said that, in these seven Emirates with different licensing powers, with different free zone areas, what do you really need for you to say, I'm going to start a business? Either in a free zone of Ajuman, or in a free zone of Dubai, or in a free zone of Abu Dhabi, or in a free zone of, or in the mainland of Dubai, or in the mainland of Abu Dhabi. What do you need? As I said, we compiled some factors. And these factors are going to help you to take a step, to plan well, to feel, yes, yes, I can do it. First things first. One of them is preparation and planning. In preparation and planning, the initial stage is to know the kind of business you want to do. When you put down the kind of business you want to do, 
you understand exactly do you want to do online do you want to do sell your shoes do you want to put your physical shop in dubai or in abu dhabi exactly do you what do you want to do do you want to make a cafe or a restaurant or you want to start up a recruitment company you just press them in order when you press in order exactly and plan what you want to do you will go somewhere because out of the activities you want to do, it will give you a way forward. Where exactly do you fall? Is your business plan or idea falling in a free zone area? Or it is falling in a mainland? Are you going to start a restaurant? Do you think the restaurant, you can start it in a free zone? Or you're going to start it in a mainland? That is the first factor. The second factor. The second point and the second factor to consider when you're planning or you really wish you want to come to UAE and start a business, it is ownership. The ownership structure is very important. Sit down and say, do you want your business to be a hundred percent owned by you or you want to own a half or a quarter or a third this one calls you in order to know exactly where you're going to license your business from because if you're going to license your business in the mainland that means 51 percentage of the shares will be taken by a sponsor a sponsor is someone from uae who is born in uae okay i can call an emirati he's going to take 51 percent of the shares you take the rest however if you want to own your, your shares 100 percent that calls you to think and look for a free zone remember also there are some restrictions attached to a free zone, if you're in a free zone, where are you going to trade from? Where are you going to go? If you're in the mainland, what are you going to do and what? Those ones all will be found in the next video. The third factor to consider when you're preparing to start your business in UAE, it is space. I can call it space. That is office space, warehouse, industry space. All it is around that. Now, when you're considering my business needs this much space. If you're in the mainland, you're very free to select the kind of space as big as you want or for the office you can. when you're in a free zone there are some restrictions where do restrictions start in free zone they restrict maybe on the height of the warehouse they restrict you on the space and other things so when initial stages is still in planning you have to know is my space this fact of a space is it falling in a free zone or it is falling in the mainland? Then we have the third point. The third point is our budget. What is your budget? Because if you're coming from wherever you're coming from, or you're within UAE, already you know my budget is around this amount of money. And mainly for people who want to go in free zone, the budget is always high. I think it is above 8,000 dirhams. Above to 16,000. And when you're in the mainland, you will not have restrictions of the budget. So these are the things you consider immediately before when you conceive the idea of saying, I'm going to go business in UAE. Then the next step or the next factor you should think about is bank account. When you go wrong in opening the bank account for your business, it means you will not operate. No business in UAE can operate without a bank account. And the bank account is being affected by or can be determined by all these factors the type of business you want to do, your history, your resume as an individual. So you need to know. Even licensing authority also matters as far as your bank account is concerned. Is your history as a person who wants to open the bank account for the company in UAE, is it well? Also consider that because you might run into opening an account or opening any company and you're already in process. When you know your history will not allow you to open an account, which will make your money go for free. Then we go to another point. This important point is about visa issue. So what do I mean? There's a, there are some businesses that are restricted in residence visas. So like if you're a person that you want to come from your country and come to UA, you want to have slots maybe of 10 employees or 100 employees, you might be restricted, especially free zone area. So considering that, you need to sit down before anything, before other steps and say, is the business I'm going to do, will it allow, oh, the licensing body that I'm going to take, will it allow me to have five visas that I want for staff or for you as a person? So that is a very important factor for you to consider. Then the last and not the least, we talk about 
the state you're choosing. If you talk about Abu Dhabi and Dubai, I imagine they bring up the high power of branding your company. So these are the things also you need to consider. Do you want your business to be in the heart of Dubai or in the capital city of UAE? Yes, if you want that also you need to consider where you should go and do the licensing from. But if you feel your business can work outside, Dubai and Abu Dhabi better. It's okay. You can go ahead and do that. Now, the last but not least, we have a lot of things to tackle as far as business in UAE is concerned. But if you don't understand free zone, if you don't understand mainland, if you don't understand offshore, it will be very hard for you to start the business. So kindly and kindly, these are very major and important factors for you to consider when going to start a business in Dubai or in Sharjah or in Fujairah or in, in any Emirates of UAE. You need to sit down, prepare yourself, say, okay, I'm going to do this kind of business because it will affect the outcome of tomorrow. You are supposed to sit down and say, in two months, I'll be doing this, this, and that. And in six months, I'll be doing this and that. Then you go ahead and choose where you want to license your business from, which type of license, and you go ahead. If you know this content has blessed you and you have picked something, kindly go down and subscribe to our channel. Remember to meet us next week for detailed information about all the licensing powers in UAE. Thank you very much. And also, if you have a topic in your mind that you want us to discuss in the month of September, please kindly go down in the comment section, drop it there, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next week.